Hi, my name is Dave Hoyson and I'm a product marketing manager here at Cisco Meraki. Today, I'd like to show you how quick and easy it is to set up and provision the MT10 temperature and humidity environmental sensor. I'm going to provision the device using the Meraki mobile application. Within the application, I'm going to click the devices tab and then click the plus sign in the upper right hand corner and click scan new barcode. All Meraki's MT sensors have a QR code on the back, which makes provisioning quick and easy. Next, I'm going to enter a name for the device. This specific sensor will be in my office, so I'm going to name it Office Temperature. I'm going to scroll down and I can geolocate this device, which means I can actually add GPS coordinates. And finally, I'm going to take a photo of the device so that I can remember where I mounted this specific sensor. Click Done. In the upper right hand corner, click done again, and it will start to add this device to my network. After a couple seconds, the device will have been added, and I can click done to finish the setup within the Meraki mobile application. To finish adding the device to my Meraki network, there is one button on the top of the device that I need to press, and when I press it, the LED will start illuminating. This means that the empty sensor is going to reach out and it's going to find the nearest gateway to connect it to the network. That gateway could be any compatible MR access point or compatible MV smart camera. After a couple seconds, I can go back to the Meraki dashboard, refresh the page, and I will now see that my office temperature sensor has been added to my Meraki dashboard. If I click the link, I can see all of the data populating from the sensor, including all of the temperature and humidity data, thus completing the setup and provisioning of the sensor to the Meraki network. So there you have it, within two minutes, I was able to get data from my MT sensor to the Meraki dashboard, thus showing how quick and easy it is to set up and provision these sensors. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thank you.